You see that I have the neck bones already going and I'm just seasoning up my, uh, my pork chops. It's really tired guys, but I had to do what I needed to do to feed my family. So I hope you all enjoy this video and I pray that you all have a successful day. Please excuse the noise in the background. It's just my grandbabies playing. At this point, I'm adding my um, seasoning mix to the pork chops. I've already added my bell pepper and my, and my onions. chops came out perfect. Now that's some good looking pork chop right there if I have to say so myself. All right. Now I'm getting my cabbages started. I'm going to cut them up, wash them, and get ready to put them in the pot. I put my green head cabbage in first and then I added my regular cabbage in there on top of that because the green head takes for longer than the regular cabbage. So this is what I done. cabbage going. My pork chops are in the stove. Getting ready to make up some bread. And I got to do my rice. And I will be done. Yeah, those pork chops hit different. When you put a little onion in it, put a little bell pepper, then you slop that onion seasoning in there, a little Cajun seasoning, a little black pepper, a little garlic, and a little onion. Oh, you ready now. You ready for the gusto. Ooh, baby. That was so delicious and so good. You got to try it. You got to try it. I promise you, you'll like it. So when you take your time, and let it cook in the oven and be real smooth. I promise you, you're gonna like it, baby. You're gonna love it, baby. It's nothing like it. And let it get real tender to where they're almost falling off the bone. Ooh, Poor baby. Came you gotta come back for more. That's some good. Gotta love it. Right about to say so myself. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm back again with another video. How's everybody doing today? Praying your day has been successful. Hello to all my sparkling babes, to all my newcomers, to all the ones that's just decided to stop by to say hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make a pecan pie. And I'll be using some walnuts and I'll be using some regular pecans. I'll be using some sour cream, not sour cream. I will be using some cream cheese, um, two tablespoons of butter, that's the real butter, a cup of k roll syrup, a cup of sugar, and some of my vanilla flavoring, vanilla bean flavor. I have three eggs here, and I'm going to uh, stir these up real, real good. Get them incorporated. And let's get started. All right, let's 
get started. I have my Cairo syrup here. Just gonna pour it in my pan. I have my sugar. butter and just get all of that incorporated in stir it real well I'm gonna add my cream cheese Get that incorporated in there real good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, my flavoring. I'm gonna do like a cup and a half. I mean, a teaspoon and a half. Uh, the banana bean. Okay, I'm gonna add my pecans and walnuts. I usually put them in the bottom of my pie crust, but I just did them like this today. And that's all, y'all. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pour it in the uh, in my pie crust. Should be enough. Let's see. Now I'm going to take this foil and I'm going to set this pie off in the foil so when I put it in the oven, it's going to burn my edges so the edges cook faster than anything else. So just going to put it around the top like this. Like so, and I'm going to put it in the oven on 350 degrees. And this will be the finished result cream cheese pecan pie.